Okay, for this edition of our Microsoft series, I'm going to do some basic intro with Excel. Um, a lot of the same thing that I'm going to do with Excel applies to uh, other programs as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I already have my screen reader running. In this case, just because um, I'm having an issue with JAWS right now, I'm going to run a VDA, a non-visual desktop access. It has the same synthesizer as JAWS does right now, so that should not be a problem. And the commands are the same, so don't worry about, about it. it. Everything will work exactly the same with regard to what I'll be showing you today. So what I'm, bringing, I'm what I'm going to do first is I'm going to hit the start menu. Start menu. I'm going to type in Excel. Programs grouping expanded. My taskbar. My and then it brought my Excel ex Microsoft one. Excel up here. Work table with so I'm going to make it be quiet. Now the first thing it does when you open an Excel document is it it automatically um, enters focus into the A1 cell. Um, remember. Um, Excel is set up in a series of rows and columns. The uh, columns are letters of the alphabet. The rows are numbers. So uh, if you think about a letter and a, and a number uh, going together, that is the cell. So that means the first cell in column A is A1. The first cell in column B is B1. The first cell in column C is C1 and, and on. Um, the second cell in column A is A2. Uh, a cell can contain anything from uh, words to numbers, uh, pretty much anything. Excel is used in a variety of situations, one of the main ones being for, uh, for documents related to uh, adding and, and keeping track. Um, I know where I work, we use them for uh, purchase orders because you can easily um, set up formulas within a cell, and, and we will talk about that later. Um, as with other Microsoft programs, if you need to get into the ribbon, you're going to hold down the Alt key and with a letter. So I'm going to do an Alt F. File menu. Save, save, Alt F. Now. Uh, what happens is the file menu happens to also be known as the backstage view in Excel 2010. The backstage view controls things such as uh, it has save is the first listed item. Save with save with alt. Save F. as. Open, open, alt. F. Open. Close, close, alt. Info, tab, selected, press F1 for more help. And I, I'm not going F. to uh, go over the info tab at all. Recent tab selected, press F1 for more help. New tab selected, press F1 um, for more help. This can open uh, oh, templates, F, F. but we're not going to go through templates right now. Uh, they they are very helpful in some situations, but uh, don't want to hit up those right now. Print tab selected. Print, print. and that's, you know, your standard print tab. Save and send tab selected, and, press F1 for more help. And oh. uh, that if you go down another one, you'll have save and send. Help tab selected Help. options options. And the last F one is um, the last one below options is exit. Uh, I'm just going to take a minute for options really fast. And I'm going to hit enter on options here, and it will bring up a dialog box. Excel options dialog. Okay. Now, Excel options dialog. when it brings up the Excel options dialog box, but where you are focused currently is in the navigation pane which visually is located on the left side. Um, you have a variety of options there. Um, you are automatically focused in the general area. Um, if you wanted to look at the things that are in the general uh, tab, you're going to use your actual tab key to get over to those areas. User interface options grouping. Show okay. mini toolbar on selection checkbox check show to mini enable live preview checkbox and check I'm, show I'm running through of our feature affects the document as you hover over different choices. Okay. Alt plus L. And we don't need to worry about that obviously so much. But you go through all of these different options down here. I'm just gonna tab down for, for one that I do want to change. Color scheme. Don't Com worry about screen the tip style. Cut when creating new workbooks grouping. Use this font. 
combo of box edits select the body of box. Now, suppose I wanted to use uh, a different font, which I actually do uh, when I create documents. I prefer Selection run. Verdana. Verdana. Select, so, select and verb. Okay, so I've um, actually uh, got Verdana in there. So I'm going to do a down arrow, or up, I'm sorry, a uh, tab to get down to, it'll ask me about my font size. Font size. Combo box edit selected 11. I prefer 12. Se selection removed. And I've just manually put it Default in there. view for new sheets. Combo box normal view all plus V. Okay, so normal view, and I don't ever mess with that one. Um, in the next one, it's going to talk about sheets, and I probably should have explained this. When you open a Microsoft Excel document, what you have is a workbook that contains three sheets by default. If you want it to, it can contain more sheets or fewer sheets. Um, and that's a concept we will explore um, at a later time. But right now, just so you know, I, I have not changed the default. It will have three sheets. Include as many sheets. Proofing includes as many sheets. Personalize your copy of Microsoft Office proofing. And don't worry Proof. about that one so much. Uh, but suppose I wanted to get back to my uh, navigation pane and to choose something other than my general. Um, remember, I'm looking at my general options. So I'm going to go back. Selection Oops. removed. No, 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 no. Okay That's button. not what I'm shooting for. There we go. There's my OK button. And I'm going to do button. Categories list. back General. to my categories list with my tab key. Now, again, now I'm on general. If I use my down arrow, Formulas. it'll, um, I can change my preferences for formulas. And below that formulas, I'm going to use my down arrow again. Proofing. Save. I'm proofing again. I'm saved. Language. Language. Advanced. Okay. Things like that. These are customized ribbon. Customized ribbon. Quick access toolbar. T toolbar. Really? Okay. Well, I thought it's a toolbar, but what do I know? Okay. And add-ins, not add-ins. Add-ins. Trust center. And trust center. And that is the end of that um, list. So because I, I'm really not interested in changing anything add else, in. I'm just going Microsoft to get out of there Excel with an one. escape. I, I didn't need really to change anything, to oh, be wow. perfectly honest with you. So, um, so there are that. So, that's the backstage view. Um, if I wanted to, I'm going to just use an alt here. Ribbon tab, tab control. Okay. Home tab, select it all. So hey. right now, I'm in the home tab. If I wanted to navigate the home tab, I would use it the down arrow to go to the lower ribbon, but I'm just going to tell you what tabs uh, Excel has. Insert tab, select it all. Tab. Page layout tab, select it all. Page layout. Formula tab, select Formulas. it all. Data tab, select Data. it all. Review tab, select Review. it all. View tab, select it all. View. Double view. And if I hit that. Minimize the ribbon button. Okay. Show only the tab names on the ribbon. There. And that's more of a visual thing. If you don't like a lot of clutter, if you have low vision and don't like that ribbon there, or if you feel it's distracting to you, you can certainly. Uh, you can select this. I, I just leave it alone myself. It doesn't affect me either way. Microsoft Excel help button gets help you in Microsoft Office. F1. And obviously, if you just hit F1 and you need help with Microsoft Office, you forget how to do something, just use F1. It's, you don't have to navigate all the way up here. Um, as a aside, if you need JAWS help, if you use the insert F1, um, it will give you um, application specific help. So, um, and then of course you just have the minimize, minimize. Report, close button, file tab okay, button, and then it goes F. back. Okay, so I'm just going to hit escape because I want out of here. Ribbon tab, Oops. tab, sheet one table. There. A one. All right. So it says a one. That is telling me what sheet or what uh, cell I am currently in. And I'm back to the main um, section of Excel. Um, that, that's basically just the overview I wanted to give you for this video tutorial, just as a fast one, um, or as fast as it gets when you have me give your ever or not. So uh, I hope this has helped as a slight intro. We'll move on 
in the next tutorial to uh, some other uh, more application specific things. So thanks for watching.